Hey guys and welcome to Ardent Sports and here I am with my week 7 NFL season predictions. Hard to believe it's already week 7, only 10 weeks left of the regular season. Still a lot of football left to be played, let's get right into it. So this Thursday we have the 1-5 New York Giants, yes the 1-5 New York Giants, they finally got a win. Wow. Facing off against the Philadelphia Eagles who currently sit at 1-4-1, uh, they are going to be in Philadelphia. This one's going to be interesting. Um, the Giants are actually starting to look like they can actually play a football game. And I believe I predicted this a couple weeks ago that Devontae Freeman would finally get going with New York. And it's not that Devontae Freeman finally got going with New York. It's just that the team as a whole, with all the injuries that they've suffered this year, has finally started to mesh with their, I guess, second core guys. Um, I'm actually going to give this one to the Giants in an upset. Um, Eagles have lost a lot of key pieces. Zach Ertz is now out. Um, Alshon Jeffrey's been out. So I'm going to give this one to the Giants. 1 o'clock, we have the Lions going in against the Falcons. Lions currently sit at 2-3. and three. The Falcons at 1-5. and five. They will be playing in Atlanta. And I think under interim head coach, I think Atlanta can get this game done. So the I think the Falcons will improve to 2-5. Uh, and f- Yeah, 2-5. and five. The Browns and the Bengals. This one's going to be interesting. Baker Mayfield versus Joe Burrow. Um, It's kind of a battle of the ugly, if you think about it. Um, Neither team is completely stellar this season. Neither team is doing bad. I mean, the Browns are 4-2. For the Browns, that's like the Patriots being 6-0 at this point in the season. Um, Well, the Patriots of a couple years ago, anyway. But I am going to give this game to the Browns. Uh, I think the Browns and Baker Mayfield will be able to get this going. Like I said last week, once OBJ gets going really heavily involved in a game, he doesn't do much the next week. That's kind of what happened this past week, so he's on track to uh, do really well in this game and then kind of be meh the next game, but that's okay. So I will be taking the Browns over the Bengals. Next up, we have the Steelers and the Titans, the battle of the undefeated, the battle of the COVID. Um... This one's going to be interesting. Um, I'm actually not sure who to go with in this game. This game is probably going to be one of the closest games of the week. Um, both teams are absolutely incredible this season. Uh, both teams have a lot of potential. Ryan Tannehill is playing great. Big Ben's playing great. Uh, Juju is actually doing pretty well. Derrick Henry is well. Derrick Henry. So, I, uh, I don't know. I'm going to go out on a limb, and I'm going to give this one to the Tennessee Titans. Maybe a little bit of an upset, but I'm going to give it to Tennessee. Next up, we have the Carolina Panthers at the New Orleans Saints. I don't have much to say on this game. I'm taking the Saints all day. Moving on, we have the Bills and Jets. Again, not much to say. Buffalo Bills will win this game hands down um, after um, back-to-back losses. They will finally get back on the win train with an easy, easy go lucky game against the New York Jets. Next up, we have the Dallas Cowboys facing off against the Washington football team. Washington football team has not won since week one. And the Cowboys are kind of iffy with Andy Dalton. Um, Just last night, they got absolutely obliterated by Kyler Murray and the Arizona Cardinals. And I'm still going to give this one to the Cowboys. Um, It's going to be not the greatest game um, for a few different reasons. Andy Dalton just is showing that he's not the QB he once was. Um, maybe it's because he's still not quite used to that Dallas feel. He's not used to having Zeke and Amari and C.D. Lamb and all these other guys. But I'm going to give this one to Andy Dalton and the Cowboys in a very close matchup. Next up, we have the 4-1 and one Green Bay Packers facing off against the 1-5 and five Houston Texans. And what is going on with Deshaun Watson and the Texans this year? It's, uh, it's definitely, it's almost like they lost their best player on their offense. Oh, wait, they, they kind of did. DeAndre Hopkins to the freaking Cardinals. What the hell? Anyway, not much to say on this one. Aaron Rodgers is playing like a complete animal this season, rightfully so. Deshaun Watson kind of playing like a puppy. He did well last week, passing for over 300 yards and four touchdowns. But other than that, he hasn't had the best support behind him. He's trying to do what he can. Therefore, it kind of makes him look like he's not playing that well. So we are going to give this game to the Green Bay Packers. 
Next up, the game you guys are seeing here, 405 on Sunday. We have the Seahawks and the Cardinals, and I am so excited to see this game. I'm so glad I'm off on Sunday because this game is going to be the game to watch, my friends. So, mobile QB versus mobile QB. Stellar defense versus stellar defense. Stellar offense versus stellar offense. Holy God. Ugh, I don't know. This is probably the hardest game to pick this week, in my honest opinion. I'm going to go with Seattle. Not just because they're undefeated, but just because they have a more veteran crew, a more well-rounded crew than the Arizona Cardinals, who have a second-year QB at the helm for them, versus Wilson, who's been in the league, what, seven years now, give or take. So we'll give this one to the Car or to the Seahawks, excuse me, and the Seahawks will improve to six and zero. Next up, we have the Kansas City Chiefs facing off against. The Denver Broncos. Chiefs coming off a win against the Bills. While the Broncos are coming off a win against the Patriots. And this game is definitely going to be... Not close. <laughs> not close at all. Uh, got the Chiefs winning this one at mile high. Let's move on. We have the 3-3 three and three San Francisco 49ers facing off against the 2-3 and three New England Patriots. Man, when is the last time we said the Patriots were 2-3? and three? I'm going to take New England in this game, but it's not because they're my team. It's not because I feel that they're the more beneficiary team. It's not because they're the home team. It's because Jimmy Garoppolo, since coming back from his injury, has not been the Jimmy Garoppolo that he was before the injury. It's because the San Francisco 49ers are not the team that they were before week two, where they lost six players in one game, two or three of them for the whole season. I'm going to give this game to New England. It's going to be closer than a lot of people want it to be, but I'm going to give this one to the Patriots, seven-point margin at best. Next up, we have the 1-5 Jacksonville Jaguars facing off against the 1-4 LA Chargers, and I'm going to say that the LA Chargers finally get a win. They win this game, hands down against the Jaguars at home in their beautiful new stadium. And that's all I got to say on that. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers face off against the Las Vegas Raiders. Buccaneers are going to win that game. Um, the Raiders are home, but TB12, Rob Gronkowski, Mike Evans, they have all been just firing on all cylinders lately. Godwin hasn't been bad either. So we'll give this game to the Buccaneers. That is the uh, Sunday night game, by the way. Monday night, we have the Chicago Bears facing off against the L.A. Rams. Um, huh. This one is, uh, I'm not going to say it's going to be a block, because it's not. It's, I feel like this is going to actually be a really good game. Um, not It's actually not going to be a bad game for a Monday night game. Last few Monday night games have been kind of, yeah, in certain standards. But I think this one's going to be good. I'm going to give it to the Bears. Um, Bears are 5-1. and one, The Rams are 4-2. and two. I'm going to give it to the Bears in an upset. I feel like whether it be Mitch Trubisky or um, Nick Foles, I just feel like the Bears have been firing on all cylinders the last few weeks. And the Rams, not that they haven't been, but I just something is telling me to take the Bears in an upset, so that's what I'm going to do. It's going to be a really close game. It's going to be a higher scoring game, probably low 30s to high 20s. So... Anyway, guys, those are my picks. On a bye, we have the Baltimore Ravens, the Miami Dolphins, the Minnesota Vikings, and the Indianapolis Colts. Breaking news, by the way. The Miami Dolphins have announced that once they come back from their bye, Tua Tagovailoa, still don't know if I'm saying his name right, is in fact going to be their starting quarterback. Nick or, uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick is officially the backup of the Miami Dolphins once again. Tua, it's time. Anyway, guys, that is going to be it for me. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, hit that notification bell. It is the number one way to help out a channel. Be sure to check out your boy Hobo and his picks real quick. An update on the competition. Your boy Hobo is 56, 33, and 1. And I am 62, 28, and 1. So once again, guys, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, hit that notification bell. It is the number one way to help out a channel. And I'll be talking to you guys later. Peace. I'm out.